All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. Happy uh, December. It's cold, man. It, it is cold. Yeah, it's a little colder here than where I'm from. It's a dark winter, man. Winter's coming. Oh, man. What Game of Thrones reference there? <laughs> a little bit. Oh, look at that. My glasses are steaming It is going to be a dark winter, but I'm glad, you know, like I said... Um, and sorry again for, well, I'm not sorry for the masks, really. I mean, and by the way, you can pick them up on the website. Uh, pretty reasonable. and uh, uh, Very comfortable. Yeah, no, they are. But um, yeah, I mean, we got to do what we got to do. Well, and we're doing what we got to do. I mean, yeah. I, I don't feel hey, bad. I'm just happy we're in here recording, doing some stuff. I feel a little normal again. <laughs> so right? I have no problem leading by example. Please don't shut us down again. <laughs> <laughs> no, please no. No, no, no. We love talking with you guys. We love talking with each other. Yeah. This uh downtime, man. We got enough isolation going on, man. Yeah. So do your part and we'll do our part. You, you guys you guys stay home and we'll get to the studio. <laughs> there you go. You guys stay home and we'll bring it to you. Uh, let us risk our lives. <laughs> yeah, hey, we 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 we've got our own vaccine for the meantime right now. This is kind of helping us get through, so yeah, a little German beer. We're still keeping it going here, but that's uh, right. We'll have to take a break to drink tonight, but uh, it is what it is. So, anyways, we promised you guys we were going to do a jump. <laughs> yes, we did. And I think it's time to do the jump. But yes. before we do that, we got to talk a little bit about uh, why we're going to do the jump for tribute. What leads up to the jump? Our good old buddy Evil Knievel. Yeah, it's Robert Craig Knievel. There you go, Butte, Montana. But a uh, pretty big icon there, and. Uh, you know, just, uh, man, the guy was just minimum. I mean, it, it, boy, you get, um, love him or hate him. I mean, I, I just call him a man's man. I mean, he was a man of his word. He was, he was a real pill. I mean, he was, a, you know, a guy, he was kind of a bastard. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. but he, what he wasn't was a liar. I mean, the guy, when he said he was going to do something, he did it. And he did it. He never went back on anything. I got to give him that. I, I mean, I have to give him that. I mean, if he said he oh, was he's a man of his word, yeah, he said he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He never bailed on anything he ever said he was going to do, including he, beating somebody up. <laughs> right? <laughs> if he said he's coming after you, you better get a restraining order. <laughs> yeah, and you'll yeah you'll never hear that man in any interviews. You guys do some little research like we did on him. I mean, you can go down a lot of rabbit holes with this guy. There's way too much story for us to cover in one episode, but. We're going to do our best here to get you at least the good bullet points. But, I mean, that guy, he he did it all. He was an opportunist. He, oh, yeah. He just, man, he was just a go-getter is what he was. Yeah, and kind of crazy stories, right? Grew up in B. I think he was raised by his grandparents. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of interesting. And, uh, you know, he, he did a lot of things when he was young. I mean, you know, he was a hockey player. Uh, he was an animal advocate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was worried about the elk. You know, uh, I think one time, what, he hitchhiked to D.C. to protest? Or <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> Make his case about relocating him somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you could, there's a lot of interviews on this guy out there. And um, I guess he never had a regret of anything he ever did. Never regretted anything. Yeah. And the guy, he was just, like I say, he was a go-getter. He was an opportunist. Um, and he said he, he just, he didn't want to work. He wanted to do, he wanted to be famous. Right. That was a goal. I mean, it reminds me, reminds me I, I, we touched on this in, in an earlier episode. Uh, reminded me a lot of Roger Patterson. Oh, yeah. You know, kind of an opportunist. You know, how can I get rich quick? Right. And I think, I don't know if that was his life goal, Evil Knievel, speaking of. Um, but that, that you know. That, yeah, he, well, he needed to make a buck, right? I mean, he def, I mean, he owned a mo motorcycle shop, didn't do real well. Yeah. You know, he's a, he always grew up riding and jumping and doing stuff, bikes to motorcycles to all those things. But. Yeah, to your point, he was definitely an opportunist. I mean, one of the, one of the, my most <laughs> memorable stories that I think I read was uh, when he was trying to get uh, Caesars to let him do the jump. Yeah. <laughs> and he made up like evil Knievel Enterprises and three lawyers and made a bunch of pr basically fake phone calls. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you need to sign this guy. You know what I mean? It exactly. Like, yeah. He was portraying himself as promoters and it was just all him on the phone. Exactly. A bunch that, of different names. <laughs> not crazy. But you, but hey, creativity, he did it. Again, okay, well, let's yeah. go back to the seventies. We had to think back then. And the guy was a thinker. He was a doer and he was a go getter. You have to respect the man. Love him or hate him. You have to respect what he did. He, he if he wanted it, he went after it. Yeah. And we were talking earlier about not only the bikes he rode, but, um, just some of the reasons he decided to jump things. <laughs> he just see, yeah. it, see it and say, you know, I'm going to go do it. Uh, yeah. I mean, wasn't it? Didn't a, know. You know, just keep adding another car and I'll go for it. 
And really, I mean, from the research I did, it's not like he had a physicist or anything that designed these jumps for him. He would direct the, okay, build it this way, do it this, move it to the left, put a car here, do that, and I'll figure it out. And he, he just freaking went for it. That's why there's so many crashes. That's why you see these spectacular crashes. He just went for it. And, but he, yeah, was, he, but learned he did do, them. he did some awesome successful jumps. You bet. But. You're, you kind of look at the earlier videos and you're like, what was he thinking? No, oh, but let's be honest. Jumping and no safety ramps at, initially with an 80 horse bike that was a dinosaur. Let's be honest. Nobody wanted to go watch that guy be successful in his jump. We no, not to see crash. Him crash. No, yeah. That was, I mean, that was the underlying. <laughs> What's going to happen? The shock factor. Yeah. You bet. Yeah. He was, he was something else. Um, but yeah, he started off where he did his first jump out in California somewhere. I think, yeah, uh, you know, and then uh, kind under, of worked yeah, his be, way up, Indio he, or Hemet or somewhere up there. Yeah, that was when he was just Rob Knievel. He, yeah. He tried to come up with his own little nickname, and I think one of his promoters had mentioned that, you know, all these fans, they, they call you Evil Knievel. Right. He says, why don't you just go with that? They're already chanting that out there in the stands and whatnot, and he says, I don't like the negative, you know, I don't like the negativity of the name Evil. Right. He says, I'm not comfortable with that. Even though the man, you know, I mean, he's, he's just daredevil guy. So, but he finally did adopt the name, but he changed it. He he, he went E V E L instead of E V I L. He didn't want to go evil, right. so he went evil can evil to kind of go with his name. Yeah, and I remember the story like he got th- what did he get thrown in jail for reckless uh, something? I don't know. He was reckless for sure. Oh, well, running from the cops on his motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, and while he's in jail, he met that guy awful can awful. Awful. <laughs> Awful can awful. And that's where he got the idea. Let's make it rhyme. You know, that sounded pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was awful can awful. It was can or something, but he made it can awful when he was in jail. <laughs> and he was like, hey, that's a good idea. Let's just make that thing rhyme. The guy was something that I believe he escaped from jail. Um, he'd been, he, <laughs> he did. He, I mean, he got out of jail. He was in jail many times, I think. I mean, he was just, he mm-hmm. was something else. Mm-hmm. He, again, he just, he wasn't a, he wasn't a bullshitter. No, not at all. No. Yeah. If something came out of his mouth, you could take it to the bank. He just, he, and I think people would try and call him out on stuff, and he called him right. He called him out on it. You, you want know? To watch? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do it. Watch me. Hold my, yeah. What and is I, this? You know, hold my cane. His exactly. I mean, his career. Yeah, yeah. Before the hold my beer moment, no doubt, huh? Hold my cane. Hold watch my this. Cane. I mean, yeah. What <laughs> dude wrote a book about him, and he read the book, and I believe he read it while he was in jail. Yeah. And when he got out of jail, he ended up going to the studio. Uh, uh, I yeah, think was it, was it a, Stone's book or something? It was like positive mental attitude or something, you know? Yeah, and he didn't like anything that was in there, disagreed <laughs> with it. And he says, oh, I'm going to go whoop some butt and got a friend to come with him. And <laughs> just on his fame, got him past the security gate. And she, how with a baseball bat? I don't know. And two broken arms and commenced whooping this dude's butt with a baseball bat and got sent back to jail. Right. And the yeah. judge says, well, do you feel bad for what you did? And he goes, absolutely not. I'd do it again. <laughs> he says, the guy's a liar. <laughs> Surprised he didn't get thrown back in jail. <laughs> you know, why would you let the guy out? But he was, you know, it is what it is. But um, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight, I think. Oh, yeah, uh, we are. One, you know, we love toys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who doesn't? Especially toys from our childhood. And we're going to do some jumps tonight. And uh, that's going to be fun. Uh, we're also going to watch some of Evil Knievel's best jumps. You guys are going to love that in the theater. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you bet. <laughs> I'm ready for that. Yeah, that's always fun to watch. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. But uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to have some uh, beers. Uh, beers and cheers to you guys. Hope you guys are having a good holiday season. And we'll be right back. All right, so let's watch some Evil Knievel videos, Dwayne. Ah, uh, let's do it. Right, let's watch it. Uh, we don't right. want to see him succeed. We want to see the crashes. That's what we were all waiting for. Let's all just right. say it. First jump, I don't know, probably out in India or somewhere. Look at that bike. What was he on there? Is that... Holy hell, look at that. Just He's riding a tank. You know that? I mean, Dude, look at he that. He just jumped through the middle of football goalposts. What if he had to hit those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. This right. is insane. So he's going to crash, but watch the bite. <laughs> oh. What if he was under that when it bounced off the wall? It would have killed him. Look at that. Oh, for God's sake. Look at that. Is this the toughest dude you've ever seen? Hey, look, look and I'll tell you right now, and he said it in some interviews. Um, oh, here we go, Caesar. If there's any reason to wear a helmet, he said the helmet saved his life many times. And, and, and look at this, and you'll see why. 
Ragdoll. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh for come God. on. There went there went both the hips broken. How much money did he make for that jump? He may know. <laughs> God, you know Not what? enough. I don't think he ever revealed how much. You know what? That's so one apparently, thing. was it after this crash, Lloyd's of London said, no, we're not insuring your shit. No, no, you're crazy. No, you're out. That's a losing <laughs> venture. Uh, they'll insure J-Lo and Rihanna's legs, but they couldn't insure this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, hands, fingers, all kinds of For stuff. For butter but... legs. I think J-Lo's butter, Rihanna's legs. But here we go. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, mm-hmm. there's that safety ramp. No suspension when he lands. Look at that. Just hardcore. Look at that. Look at this. There's no suspension. No, four inches travel at best. Six inches in the front. Oh. Oh, for... <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that he wore white and it never got bloody, that was the other thing. Oh, look at this one. This one... Yeah. Yeah, there's just not any shock. I mean, I want to call them a... Did sh- they have shock absorbers? <laughs> not really. It just springs. I mean... Look, and they just let him lay there for like 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Not an ambulance in sight, Just right? double check. Make sure he's moving before we go there. And this one, like, he didn't measure like he's had a physicist. They just lined up a bunch of buses. Let me go for it. Yeah, he's just eyeballing it. He just, what bike is he on there? The Honda? No. Uh, I think he was into Harleys by then. Uh, and look, at you, it looks like a heavy bike. Look at him. He's so struggling. Was it, 750 cc's, 82 horsepower. That's just 110 nuts. miles an hour. And just, and just winging it. Winging a prayer, literally. Oh, look at this one. Top of the stadium. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, well, now there's how you jump a lot at of cars. Just stack them three point. tall, squish them all. Yeah. Look at that. Crash compactor. Nice. Look at that. There was no suspension. <laughs> he landed it. In the back seat barely even uh, it, nothing. No, he got more suspension out of his ass than he did the bike. Whenever he endos, so he just cringe when he goes over the handlebars. <laughs> Look at him. Now he's jumping so much. That's yeah. not bad. That's a nice landing. Uh, nice. Just amazing. Just, I mean, just no suspension though. You see, land. His body was the suspension. <laughs> yeah, it took all the impact. He wasn't. He was so cool though. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah. Stunt rocket over the Snake River. A lot of ambition here, but what an epic fail. I mean, pretty cool that they just completed this, but with the same stunt cycle. Yeah. But do you remember he had to pull the lever? Mm-hmm. It was like a duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> it was all screwed up, like up or down. It looked like the scene of Independence Day when Will Smith gets in the alien spacecraft. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah. reverse or backwards. <laughs> it's like that. Oh, God, he almost drowned, remember? Hey, oh, yeah. If he would have landed like four more feet, he would have landed in the river and drowned. It would have been a done deal. You bet. He got some, oh, God. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, just, it's amazing. Go, go, evil, go, go. <laughs> yeah. I know... I, Travis Pastrana did some of his jumps, you know, since then. Oh, yeah. But it, uh, look at this guy. Uh, look at, look at. <laughs> what is he thinking at this point? There's, <laughs> he's thinking, here we go again. <laughs> Onto the tire. I just lost all the money I made on this jump to the hospital. The, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that the bikes keep missing him, though. He never really took a bike really that heavy. No. But there were so many times it could have smashed his head. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> or just, just cut him in half. I mean, these bikes were not light. No, that's what I'm saying. He's, he, he might as well be trying to what jump into the tank. What a bike like that way? I'm going to go look it up. A couple hundred pounds? At least. It had to be. Had to be. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't alloy even probably at this point. They were made of steel. They were not made for that at all. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we got some medics. They don't even know where to start. <laughs> Do you see a medic? I don't see a medic. It's I just, just see a bunch a, of buddies. A bunch of guys in suit, tweed suits. <laughs> it's promoters. <laughs>
All right, well, welcome back from the theater. That's too much fun, man. Isn't it, though? Isn't that a blast? It just takes me all the way back, dude, just right back to childhood. You know, it's really funny, too. Like, I enjoyed watching the videos, but to be able to recreate it with a toy, it's no wonder that thing was so popular. Because you could do the same thing, man. You could bust him up, you could jump him, you could backflip him. It was a blast. I, I mean, by the way he lands, you know what I mean, in slow-mo, <laughs> you see his back legs flip up. And he's I, loose. It's awesome. Yeah, so I could definitely see why people really enjoy that. I mean, kind of the way they designed it, them front forks will pop a little bit, which <laughs> yanks him kind of off the bike for the landing. His helmet blows off. It's, it's just It's awesome. designed for him to pop off the bike. <laughs> I, I mean, if you land it perfectly, you're good. Oh, well, yeah. Any deviation, though, <laughs> you're going to get the evil Knievel excitement. True to life. <laughs> True to life. That's how he did it. Super fun. He was definitely America's daredevil, though. Definitely fun to watch, yeah, fun to play with, fun to watch. So, anyways, you got a cool new shirt on. What you got on the way? Uh, you like this one? Uh, Bigfoot saw me, and nobody believes him either. Oh, that's a good one. And that, uh, gosh, I see that image quite a bit. Yeah. Wonder who ever depicted him that way? I don't know. I see it a lot of places, man. I kind of, I'm digging the shirt you got on. That's that's. Oh yeah, I got the number one. That's awesome. You got the Evil shirt on tonight. Didn't really care for the color when I got it on, but. I like it though. I think it's pretty badass. Well, that's awesome. Who doesn't know? Who doesn't know that? I'd sport yeah, that, that all day, one. buddy. And that was a big thing for a long time, right? The number one Harley Davidson. Yeah. He'd, he'd always say that too when he got off promoting it. Yep. But he didn't always ride a Harley. No, he also rode Triumph. Uh, was Triumph. another one. Yeah. Um, I think American. American, and I believe, I think his first jump was a Honda. A Honda something. I mean, I don't, right. I don't know what kind, but I think Honda. But they were all small. What were they? 700 engines? 720s? 750s? Yeah. CCs? I mean, they were powerful back then, but they were not much more than like 80 horsepower. It's still heavy as hell. <laughs> I mean, they were tanks. These things were made out of steel, man. I don't know yeah. how much aluminum was being used back then. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I wonder if he ever went to Sturgis on a Harley. Oh, he must have. Was the Sturgis round in the 70s and oh, 80s? Stur yes, Stur oh, Sturgis. 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 I, mean, I think Sturgis has been around before Evil can Evil. Man, Evil would have been awesome at Sturgis on a Harley doing uh, popping wheelies. I wonder why. I, again, I, this, I gotta look that up. It definitely, this could, this could be a 10 part episode. I mean, this th this guy's rabbit hole is, just goes forever <laughs> and ever and ever, man. Well, he brought a lot of great memories to me on Saturdays and wide world of sports and oh yeah laying on the shag carpet man that was like the day it was an event well it was a thing this was again guys yeah. this was back in the day before on demand and oh, any totally, youtube yeah. and anything when it was on you had to have your butt in front of the tv to watch it because if you yeah. missed it they didn't play it again it was it yeah and i was trying to think the other night like monster trucks tractor pulls evil yeah like those all kind of hit about the same time somewhere in that genre you know uh, yeah, I think Evil kind of. He, I think he was kind of the first to fire it off, right? But it kind of opened up those kind of outside events for craziness. Yeah, and, I mean, the only other yeah. real daredevil I can think of that comes to mind instantly for me is Spanky Spangler, which I've seen live a bunch of times. I don't know if you've heard of him. He kind of huh. did all the same thing, you know. He did quads and jumped through cars and bus. Kind of a lot of that same kind of stuff, but but not like Evil did. <laughs> yeah, and who was the guy on Showtime that tried to? Oh, mimic him. Do you remember him? Come um, on, guys. You guys are out there. You guys remember who I'm talking about? I don't remember. Dave something. Uh, Super Dave Osborne. <laughs> yes, Chris. Super, Super Dave. Dave Osborne. Like, but he kind of awesome. had that kind of thing, but it was kind of a spoofy kind of thing. Or I he guess did, he was at one point a stuntman or something, but he was not evil. He did all the stuff, but they did it kind of like Mr. Bill style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They would, they would sub him out with a rag doll or something. Right. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Stuntman. But uh, I mean, even TV shows popped up after that yep remember oh, six yeah, yeah, million yeah. dollar man he made some stuff what was that one called uh, remember that yeah i do remember american stuntman or it was stuntman something oh that's right oh man see it could, this could go forever <laughs> i know but he, he paved the way he yeah, did he did he and, did uh, so many great things and his you know his son went on to do some amazing things too sure but uh not the same you know and i got and again the guy was a real pill. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if I could have hung around the dude. I mean, real prima donna, but I have to give it to him, man. It, he backed it up. Yeah. He said he was going to do it. He, he did, did it. it. He went and went for it. He goes, look, man, I'm going to do some crazy Whatever ass crap. Whatever happens is going to happen. <sighs> and you were saying, I think you were telling me, like he, he got to the point where 
the stunts just kept getting harder and harder and the expectations higher and higher. Yeah, well, yeah, I seen, yeah. Uh, he said he was in a diner one time and he heard the next table over, had recognized him and they got to talking about him and they said, yeah, that's Evil Knievel. That guy jumped a hundred cars. And then the other guy said, yeah, he jumped the Grand Canyon and Evil said to himself, he goes, Lord, I'm going to have to stop. He goes, if this is the expectations people have of me, if this is what they think I'm doing, I need to quit now, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. So he was larger than life and that's yeah. when he realized... It was his last jump four more times. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last jump to you money. Anyways, man, I had a lot of fun uh, doing this tonight. So, oh, yeah, me too. So hopefully you guys had fun. That was a lot of great memories for us. And uh, and don't be fooled, guys. I, I still got a lot of miles on my Eva Kniebel. I'm going to be doing this long <laughs> after this camera's <laughs> off. I'm still going to be playing. I've jumped my rabbit at home. I've jumped everything so far. <laughs> yeah, Dwayne's getting to be the master on that. I'll have to have some competitions now that I got a bike. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> send each other some videos. Anyways, if you guys have an Evil Knievel stunt cycle, you got some cool videos, send them in. We'd Definitely. Love to see them. I'd love to see them. Slow-mo, <laughs> man. They're awesome in slow motion. If there's one you guys want to see, we may have another episode. We might want to jump this dude. <laughs> yeah, do you, what do you want us to jump? There you go. <laughs> but kind of fun. Definitely. But, but anyways. Um, anyways, thanks for joining Sasquatch Syndicate. Stay safe out there. Enjoy winter. Enjoy your holidays. Yeah, speak. Mm-hmm.